Namaste everyone, it's Leanne Carey and Jules Mitchell from Leanne Carey Yoga. Melissa from Canada, this is for you. You asked for some things to do for SI joint and to prepare you for other back bends. Uh, this is a variation of bridge pose and it's fantastic for uh, SI joint and setting the two joints. So we'll be working on a little bit of internal rotation and uh, external rotation at the same time. So we take the block, bring it to the tailbone and sacrum. She decides which leg she's going to bring up in the air. There is a little loop around that and she's going to pull down on it and draw the leg in toward the pelvis. And she's going to work on taking that thigh bone and rolling it out to the side so that she can feel that her weight is equally distributed at the sacrum. Then she's going to slowly stretch that other leg out. And as she presses down through the heel bone, she's just going to work a very slight internal rotation, nothing huge, just a little bit. Just enough to feel that what's happening is this leg is moving down, this leg is moving out, this one's moving in, and this one's moving out. A slight internal, a slight external, draw this leg straight into the pelvis, draw this leg away from the pelvis, and then you would switch sides. And I recommend that you stay there for a good 30, second, uh, 30 seconds to one minute, and just keep trying to find your way through those rotations and the drawing uh, through the legs is equally as possible on the lower back and sacrum. Great. And then you spend the knee, and then the opposite leg. I also like to then, at this point, push to the feet and lift up just for about three breaths in the regular bridge pose, just to create a little bit more stability there. And then she can remove the block and slide and come all the way out of the pose. And it feels super good. Let us know how it goes. Thanks, Melissa. Namaste.